Most consider dual boiler rotary pump semi-automatic machines with PID as the top of the line in home espresso. In recent years, new machines in this category like the Profitech Pro 700 and Rocket R58 have gained a devoted following. Hey espresso lovers, Mark here from WholeLatteLove.com. Today an in-depth look at the new ECM Synchronica. I'll take you for a close-up tour inside and outside for details on its components and construction. So the new ECM Synchronica joins machines like the Pro 700 and R58, is those Alex Duetto 3 and Expo Bar's Brutus 4R in the category of dual boiler PID rotary pump E61 group plumbable machines and it's currently the most expensive of the bunch. Now I'll get into why that's the case and it if you're at all familiar with those other machines, it should be easily apparent when you get a look at this one. And if you're not, I'll get into the reasons why you might consider spending just a little extra for the Synchronica. I've got to say right off the bat, this machine is simply incredible. It's innovative and in my opinion sets a new standard for design and construction quality. So the first thing I do when we get a new machine is get under the hood to have a look at how it's all put together. And when I opened up the Synchronica, I was blown away. Now, I do feel a little silly getting all worked up. It's just the inside of a machine, but I mean, I was really blown away. It's put together like no other machine in its class. First, it's so easy to get inside. Now, I sped it up a bit here, but it takes less than a minute to remove six Allen head screws to get in. And they're all on top. I can't tell you how many times I've sliced my fingers trying to get at interior panel screws on other machines. So just take out those six screws and all the body panels come right off. So to make that happen, take a look at the chassis inside. It's one complete solid piece. Now, I love the powder coated finish there. This has got to be the most rigid frame I've ever seen. A real innovation in the design of these machines. The components are what you'd expect to find in most dual boiler machines, the Jakar PID and controller, solid state relays, RPM motor, Fluetotech, rotary pump, and so on. What sets it apart from most other machines is the overall design. There's an elegant simplicity to it all and a lot of space in that case. No wire jungles and very efficient copper and braided stainless plumbing with short runs and no crazy turns. A great example of that, you'll find just one solenoid valve in here. Now those are a common point of failure and it's not uncommon to find other machines with three, four and even five solenoid valves. I love how the electronics are covered on the side and top by a metal shield to protect from heat and moisture and how the vacuum relief is piped so any moisture from that ends up in the drip tray. In some machines it's just open to the inside and dumps moisture in there every time the machine heats up. As for the boilers, copper is tradition and stainless steel, well, that's the future and stainless steel is what you'll find in the Synchronica. Both boilers have a high quality insulating jacket, the steam boiler is 1200 watts and 2 liters in volume, while the brew boiler is 1400 watts and 0.75 liters. In the PID setup, the brew boiler gets priority first, so it gets up to temp, then the steam boiler heats. If you're just brewing, the steam boiler can be turned off with a switch behind the drip tray. A few other things to look at. It's got very secure boiler mounts to the machine's faceplate and nice rubber mounts of the motor to the chassis for smooth and quiet operation. Underneath the machine is the connection for plumbing it, which swivels, making water line routing a piece of cake. And next to that is the mechanical valve to select water line or plumbed operation. Now, I prefer the mechanical valve to the solenoid you'll find on some machines. Moving to the exterior of the machine, it's a beautiful mirror finish, some of the best work I've ever seen. All edges are wrapped and the finishing work is extremely detailed. One place I always check on a new machine are the interior corners of the drip tray. The Synchronicas are beautifully polished with no visible weld marks, a clear indication of the level of craftsmanship put into this machine. Gauges for steam and brew pressure are mounted up high. They are larger and feature a new font and design as compared to those found on other ECM machines. The PID display has a new look that blends into the machine. That's really cool. It alternates between displaying temps in the brew and steam boiler. And if you prefer, you can just turn the display right off. When brewing, it automatically switches to a shot timer. Gotta love that and it can be set to alert users to clean the group at predetermined intervals. 
Steam and hot water valves are sprung levers for low wear and can be throttled for temporary operation or locked in for constant pressure. Wands come out at an angle for easy positioning and are insulated internally to reduce the chance of accidental burns. For steaming, the Synchronica comes with a two-hole tip. You'll find extra detail on the E61 Group with custom top and bottom fittings. These complement the lever's chromed end, which in turn matches the detail on the portafilter handles. The machine comes with double and single portafilters and baskets, and I like those angled handles. The double rests flat for easy tamping, and that angle makes attaching to the Group a lot easier than straight handle designs. And speaking of tampers, why not? This ECM is one of a very few machines that comes with an actual usable one. It's heavy and the polished finish complements the design of the machine. The drip tray includes a removable platform for smaller cups and it's pre-drilled for a permanent drain line attachment to an included collection cup. So why consider this machine over another? Well, a good comparison is with a Profitech Pro 700. The specs between the two are almost identical, but the Synchronica is priced about $200 more. Now, the Pro 700 is a wonderful and well-respected machine, and there's no reason why the Synchronica would produce a better espresso, but it will look better doing it. Now, I'm really impressed with the case design and the chassis. It's a real innovation. And then there's the details, like the extras on the group and lever, the new PID display that blends into the machine, the angled portafilters, and a matching tamper that's included. In my opinion, at this level, the extra investment is worth it for a machine that is likely to give you decades of service. That's the ECM Synchronica. It's available now at holatelove.com. If you have any questions on this machine or anything coffee, use those comments down there and I'll get you the answers. I'm Mark. Thanks for watching and I hope you'll come back soon for more of the good stuff on everything coffee. Hey, why not subscribe now for easy free access to more videos on everything coffee brought to you by wholelottelove.com. Oh.